Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. Welcome into my studio. And recently I've been looking at uh, pastel fixatives and I've been talking about them a lot on my Patreon channel and also my Facebook channel. The problems that normally come with pastel fixatives, as most of you know, is that they alter the color or the tone quite drastically sometimes. And I've showed those on videos and then they usually come with toxic um, gases inside pressurized cans as, as well, which adds to the issue because you can't really spray those in the studio. So you've got to keep waiting for good weather days to go outside and there's all other problems with those as well. So the best one I found so far is Spectrofix. It's a casein product mixture in there. And so it's non-toxic, which is great. It's not pressurized. So we haven't got those problems either. So we can actually use those in the studio while we're working. The only thing with this one, because it's not pressurized, you've got to actually push the plunger down to, to do the spray. And with any sprays like that, what you're then going to get is obviously a bit of a surge in the spray that's coming out and then as it's um, refilling or whatever, it's dying off. So you get that bit of a, a surge as you're spraying on it. So it's not perfectly even. But if you team that up with a product called Flarosol, so it's a new, I think it's quite new out. It's uh, used with uh, lots of hairdressers and people like that who want a fine mist. But the beauty of it is, as I'll show you later in the video, is when you push this plunger, you get the spray coming out, but it also continues after the plunger is released. So if you time it, and you're not going to be you know, really accurate with the timing, it's not difficult to do, but when you get your timing right, you can get a pretty much continuous spray, a light, even spray coming out of there. Now obviously it gets a little bit uh, more spray coming out when you depress, but it's far, far better than your normal pump action spray. So it's obviously a lot cheaper than if you were thinking of going the airbrush route, which is what I was thinking of doing as well and spending a fair bit of money on that because I think you can get these in the USA and the UK. In the UK, they're empty, obviously, when they come and they're about five pound or less. So let's take a look at the rest of the video. This is the Flarosol I wanted to show you. And the um, lid comes off very easily. And I've just put some water in there for now. And just screw it back on. But what I wanted to show you then was that you actually prime it with a couple of sprays first. And then once you've done that, then you can um, just spray less frequently and you'll get a continuous, very, very fine spray, which is really suitable for, um, you know, doing uh, fixatives and things like that. So, as I said, we'll give it a couple of goes first just to prime it. And then what it does then, you notice that when you spray, it goes for quite a while after I've left the trigger go. So by just going every second or two you can keep the spray going so you can imagine now how easy and evenly that would actually spray on uh, your artwork so it's much more of an even spray than you would normally get obviously with uh, the little pump actions that come with pastels now, um, with pastel sprays and other um, fixative sprays. Now, the thing is, obviously, this is um, non-toxic as well. There's no gases in there. So to get this effect, normally you'd have an, an aerosol with some form of toxic gas. So that's why I like to team this up with the Spectrofix to get a lovely, even flow to it. And it's also non-toxic. So here, very quickly showing you how I prime it on a bit of tissue first and then actually spray it over my pastel drawing. Very even spray, side to side, going outside the edges. Simple as that. Dries in a few minutes, and then you can put a second coat on quite easily. On my tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk, I've got lots of full length videos, some up to eight or nine hours long. I've got eBooks on there as well. If you're looking for reference photos, because sometimes it's really hard to get very good, decent, copyright-free reference photos you can paint and draw from. My website, www.wildlifeart, 
hyphenonline.com has got about 900 or more photographs on there. Or perhaps you'd like to join my art community where every month I put up new videos, new reference photos, new wildlife line art. So that's patreon.com forward slash wildlife art. Love to see you on one of those soon or even here on my YouTube channel.